We have talked about DNA recombination a little bit before when we've talked about homologous recombination happening during meiosis. And what we can now talk about, now that we know the structure of DNA and, and things like that, is how this homologous recombination happens at the molecular level. So to begin with, what's going to happen, we've got um, a chromosome, say, from mom and a chromosome, say, from dad, is that we're going to get little nicks in the DNA. You can show here. The second thing that's going to happen is what we call strand displacement. And so part of this strand, it goes over here, part of this strand goes over here. Okay. The next step is going to be ligation, in which the gaps between this chromosome and this chromosome, this chromosome and that chromosome are sealed. And at this point you have a complex where the DNA is going to be associated with one another. Next, what you can have is branch migration. So through this, if you just look at how this might be set up, you've got this strand here from the mom, this strand here from the mom, and it kind of jumps, right? This is that region right there, and then back to the rest of the strand from mom. This is the full strand from dad, this is the strand from dad, straightened out here. You can imagine this bending over and originally coming from this. So if you were to rotate this 180 degrees, it would look something like this complex here. This is what it actually would look like under the microscope. And we call this a holiday structure. And this is the chi form. Chi is like an X. So this is why it has that sort of structure. Next, we can have additional nicking right here and right here. You can see here's the nick, here's the nick. We can go through a second ligation process where this part is sealed and this part is sealed. And at the end result, what we're going to have is two strands of DNA. And in both of these helices, they're going to have a little bit of DNA from mom, a little bit of DNA from dad, okay? And at the molecular level, it's pretty simple. So two things can possibly happen uh, at this point and if the sequence is a little bit different. So let's say the sequ sequence from dad at a particular point might read T-A-G, and the sequence from mom might read T-C-G. Okay, maybe dad's got the wild type, maybe mom's got the mutant allele. So after this recombination event would happen, you would actually have a mismatch at this point, okay? Because this strand here should be the TAG, and then this strand here would still be its AGC. So you could have two possible events at this point. When this happens, you can actually excise or remove this A here, and you can put in the matching C to this G. And so this particular version would result in conversion to the mutant allele. Alternatively, what you can have, because the dad was a wild type here, if this G was excised out and you replaced it with the matching T, you now have an ATC instead of the AGC. And in this particular case, it would remain wild type. And so these types of corrections constantly happening, uh, homologous recombination can happen multiple times within meiosis, and uh, the, the benefit of it is just that we get this wonderful variation in outcomes.